Here's a few things that I've discovered with Virtual Board. Uh, you can use this with BibleWorks when you're running it through a projection unit. I recommend the very first thing you do is save a copy of an unmarked text. Save a fresh page. Go over here to this diskette icon and the one with the red upload uh, arrow, click it. You'll see why we need to do that later. Now it's got all the little standard functions that you would want. You can draw freeform lines, control Z, and it's gone. So during your discussion in the class, you can help focus your class on the immediate topic by drawing lines, control Z, and it's gone. It comes with two colors preloaded, so you can change the pen color with the click of a button, undo arrow and it's gone. If you don't like the colors of the pens, you can pull down a color palette, move the arrow around the palette and when you see what you like, select that and now you can be drawing with a different color. Control Z. If you don't like the size, if you need something a little bit bigger, you can choose the up arrow. If you want something a little bit smaller, obviously the down arrow and now you're writing with a much thicker pen. You can highlight text with squares, back arrow, and it's gone. You can uh, highlight text with circles, control Z, and it's gone. You can block out text until you're ready for people to read it with this function here, maybe zeroing in on one sentence at a time, back arrow, and it's gone. You can do some reverse highlighting. Focus in on something, go to the fill arrow, click the background, and now you've got a reverse highlight. If I hit the undo button, all it does is undo the last action. If I hit this again, mm -mm. if I hit control Z, uh -uh. that square is still there. This is why we saved a fresh copy of the screen. I pull that down, and now I don't have to do anything in the middle of the class. I can just keep going. You can add text. All right. To draw out emphasis. You can add graphics. These are clip arts that you can put up on the screen. Don't know why you'd use this in a Bible class, but hey, I'm just showing you. It comes with some preloaded uh, bitmaps. Let's say for some reason you think that would help or you think that would help or maybe this and since it is in a bitmap format any bitmap that you already have you can use yourself. I've uh, gone in and made some custom ones Close that down, and when I want to get rid of this clip art from my icon, I just go and click one of the other buttons. You can zoom in on the text with the left mouse click. You can zoom out with the right mouse click. You can move around the page with your zoom using these arrows. And when you're all done, it, it, one more thing, it will momentarily clean up your screen with that, but once you open it up it brings everything back. When you're, You can take a screen capture with this and it saves it in a JPEG format onto your hard drive. When you're done, just close out and you're good to go. Why don't you give it a try? It's free.